Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Hedeful Boyfriend. Well, well, uh, previously, not only was I murdered, not only was my were my body parts spread around the school campus, not only did no one care about that, not only did the entire campus get sealed in by some weird concrete dome, not only is a murderous biomechanical freak scarecrow roaming the halls with a giant axe hand or something, but now the school principal has been poisoned to death. The one bird who may have known exactly what was going on here. Um... <laughs> oh. Well, now it falls to just good old Ryota and Sakuya to solve this mystery. The only birds who seem to care enough to do so. There's also that mysterious Mr. One, or... Mr. One, who is the janitor, but was actually part of the Dove Society, and is connected with, uh... Oh, crap. What was his name? What was Sakuya's brother's name? I'll remember when I see it. Anyway, um, I'm excited because I do believe, with this very recording session here that I'm starting up right now, I might just finish Haddleful Boyfriend. So... I'm happy about that. I mean, I've enjoyed my time with it, but I'm also excited to move on to new things. So, let's go. Poisoning. Only a few hours ago. I believe he was already dead when the announcement was broadcasted this morning, though. I checked his broadcasting equipment, and it looks like they put the video together from last year's disaster drill footage. Meaning... Somebody killed the headmaster and gathered everyone else in the gym. Why would anyone... There is no explanation, but mere obscene delight in the grotesque. I think we may all be vastly underestimating the magnitude of whatever is going on. You think? It might be better if we kept this to ourselves for now. Eh, I can see that. I concur. Until we have proper grasp of the situation, telling the others would only cause unnecessary panic. First, Zephyr and now the Headmaster, both poisoned. Were they killed by the same person? I, I don't remember seeing that pug in the trophy case. Huh. More rationally, they must have had a reason for killing him and fabricating the broadcast. This must be connected to the quarantine. Since we're finally here, let us search for some clues, Kawara. Right. Huh. Easier said than done. Every shelf in his office is piled high with documents and papers. Where do we even start? Incompetent feral! Examine each piece one at a time, looking for anything about emergency procedures, plans for the school. I got it. Hello? PDA records. That's not it. Hello? Oh. Demographics for dummies. Nope. Transfer students. Wait. Next to that is... The human representative? That must mean Zephyr. And the date is from two years ago, right before she enrolled. Yeah, um... Um, I... Myself enrolling here was actually a... Test conducted by the Hawk Party. It's not really related to today's incidents, but it might have something useful. There doesn't appear to be anything about converting the school into a shelter. Anything this large scale would have to leave some sort of paper trail were it official. Hang on, Sukuya. What are you reading, Kawara? This. 
The human representative? It's locked, even though none of the others are. A minority representative is no more important than a transfer student, or the like. There's no need to have it sealed up like a criminal record. I wonder what's written in here. We can't exactly ask the headmaster to open it for us. I don't suppose the key is in here somewhere. Maybe we should ask Mr. One for help? I yeah, I, I don't I don't know if it's Mr. One or Mr. One. It could be either, I don't know. Uh, do you intend to break it open? Yeah. It'll be faster than looking around for the key. And... That... I was wondering about it as well. Huh. What is this? Some sort of computer? Oh. That thing on his desk. Some sort of control panel? Whatever it is, it's suspicious. Uh, hold on one second. I want to check the... Music. Volume. Yeah, I don't think my settings have changed. I, it's been a while, I just want to make sure. I believe it is a control panel for some machine, yes. And spread out next to it is... The dome. Maybe this is controls the dome? <laughs> this is controls the dome, yes. Or the hatch we saw earlier. Yeah, that's right, the hatch on the roof. Well, uh, the, the, the underside of the roof of the dome. One did postulate that it would be in here. Locked, of course. I doubt we will find it easy to break that one. Yeah. All the same, we have some actual hope of getting out of here now. And just that is comforting. Let's go talk to Mr. One. I think we have exhausted the possibilities of this room for the time being. Let us go. That, that, that That's what he said, Sukuya. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully we won't run into the scarecrow. Oh, Shu was waiting outside. Mr. Kawara? Uh, yes, sir? <laughs> I see you have yet to lose your open distrust of me. Well... Two people have been poisoned, and we have evidence that the perpetrator went into the infirmary. It's sort of hard not to doubt you a little, sir. Not too hard for Sakuya, though. How honest of you. Did you find it yet? The thing you forgot about? The thing I forgot about? I forgot what the thing he forgot about is, uh... He must be talking about what he said earlier. No. I'm not convinced you're not just trying to mess with me. Are you sure you're not trying to keep me from finding something you thought nobody knew about? How cruel, Mr. Kawara. Your boundless suspicion wounds me. He doesn't look wounded at all. More like amused. I have no reason to regret your solving this mystery, Mr. Kawara. Let me give you another hint. There are no riddles here. If you want to find the truth, you need only keep going. You need not use your brain at all. What are you talking about? No riddles. Wait, not that. You mean to say that you know the truth already? Well... Who knows? Ah, oh, this guy? If you do, tell me. I told you, you need only keep going. Everything here is a plot that was laid out just for you, after all. What? Ryota? Just for me? What? How long must you babble, Kawara? Come. Sorry. Fine, fine. I take it this is a challenge, Doctor? Hmm. You may take it that way, if you so wish. I swear I will find the truth. And I find that you killed Zephyr. <laughs> oh, I do look forward to seeing what sort of answer you find. What a guy. 
I don't know what to think. Oh, made it back without incident. That's good. Mr. One? I forget what voice I gave this guy. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll just wing it. <laughs> yeah! Uh, you two again. What is it? We explained to Mr. One what we found in the headmaster's office. The plot thickens, I see. We think this file may be connected to the mystery. Can you unlock it? Or break it? Let me see. Hmm. This will be rather troublesome. It's just a lock, right? Forcing it will result in spontaneous combustion. What? Why would they put something like that on a bunch of ordinary documents? Perhaps because these documents are not ordinary. All the same. I have dealt with similar things in the past. It will take time, but I believe I can open it. So defusing bombs falls under maintenance operations? Do not forget, I'm not just a maintenance worker. I am a bright and massive maintenance worker. <laughs> bright and massive, got it. What does that have to do with anything? So a maintenance work in Japan requires a number of skills. I am impressed. Uh, I think Mr. One is the only... Oh, right. Can we ask you one more thing? You may. We found a control panel that looks like it's for the dome as well. But it's locked. It seems to require a password. A password? Uh, ask Mr. Sakazaki for help. Yuya? Oh! Okay, yeah, that's, that's Sukuya's brother, Yuya. He is a master of unauthorized access. So that wretched mongrel has lowered himself to crime. I never knew he could. Uh, Sakuya, just let it go. We need his help here. I should take care of this folder then. I can't say for sure, but it should be done by the time you and Mr. Sakazaki get back. Nice. All right, thanks. We should probably write all this down since we're here. Where is Yuya right now? Either in the lab or possibly gallivanting around like a nincompoop. I'm more inclined to believe the latter. This would be a lot easier if we could use our phones. But we can't. Off to the lab. Is my body still there? Here we are. Wonder if he's still in there. As we turn the corner... Ah, no! Hi! The Scarecrow Man blocks our path! Of all of the... Sukuya, run! Am I, am I am I making good scary sounds? Please say yes. Don't order me around, Feral. <sighs> oh, Nageki! Nageki's here. Oh yes. I was wondering if he'd come back into play. We saw him once in this epilogue here, but uh. This is a good opportunity for another chat with him. Maybe maybe they'll see him finally. Uh, we lost it, right? Oh, shoot. Sukuya and I must have run in different directions. Uh, I hope he's okay. Of all the times to run into that thing again. If it's lying in wait for us like that, we can't rely on the noise of its arm to find it. And the dome makes the building dark, so it's hard to see. Yeah, that's right. I remember earlier in this Let's Play where, uh... 
there was actually commentary made about how birds can't see well in the dark and how Zephyr, myself, had an advantage because I was human. Uh, I can't remember. I, I remember something like that, but not Yuya's name. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry to all the Yuya fans. I better be careful. Where is it now? I wanted to head straight to the lab, but... Huh? Did I just hear something? What are you doing in here, all alone? Yes! Did you see the wall outside? There's been an emergency and everybody was supposed to gather in the gym. You should... You're... Kawara Ryota? Uh... He knows my name? Have I met him somewhere before? Yeah, uh... Have we met before? The unfamiliar morning dove shakes his head. This is the first time we've spoken. Then why do you know my name? She told me. Miss Jester. Zephyr? Oh, right. Didn't she say she made friends with a freshman who's in the library all the time? Can I ask your name? Fujishiro Nageki. You were friends with Zephyr then. Uh, did you maybe see her after school yesterday? Was she acting strange at all, or... Oh, shoot. He didn't hear the emergency broadcast. <gasps> so he probably doesn't know what happened to her either. No, Nageki! No! Uh, she's... Don't worry about it. You don't have to explain again. Huh? I already know. Oh. She washed up here and spoke to me. Wait. <laughs> did, did my soul... Did my ghost... Did my ghost talk to him? <laughs> Which can only mean one thing. She's dead. He doesn't exactly make things easy to understand. Almost as if he's talking to himself and doesn't care whether or not his inter... Wait. Whether or not his interlocutor knows what he means. Oh. I've never heard of that word. She... Washed up here? Do you mean yesterday? If you know anything about what happened to her last night, please tell me. I do not. Miss Jester did not come to the library after school yesterday. Uh, so she didn't come here either. Thanks. I need to hurry back to the chemistry lab, and you should probably get out of here too. There's a suspicious individual in the building. It was not yesterday that Miss Jester came here. It was... just now. What? Just... just gonna... He's gone. The morning dove who just spoke to me has disappeared. Did he go to the gym? What? No! No! God damn it! <laughs> Well, I, I've never known Nageki to disappear at will, so I have to wonder if he, like, just moved on on his own, or, like, to the afterlife, or if he's gonna appear later. I don't know. Interesting. I hope so. I don't really want to consider the possibility, but maybe Sakuya's right. Maybe I am going crazy. I have to last long enough to find the killer. You're late, Kawara. Blasted feral doves. Sakuya, you're safe. He was pretty worried about you, Ryota. You couldn't sit still the entire time you were gone. Silence, mongrel. 
<laughs> Thanks. Sorry for worrying you, Sakuya. Anyway, Sakuya filled me in on your adventures. You want to you want me to hack into the headmaster's computer? Can you do it? Naturally. Just leave it to me. Come on, let's go. Right on. Hopefully this works. Oh, welcome back, Kawara. Sir, about this control panel. Uh, what about it? Can't you tell? It must be the controls for that dome. Ah, right. I suppose it could be. It's locked, though. We were just going to have Yuya get into it, though, but, uh... That's illegal, you know. That doesn't matter. Don't you comprehend our situation? I never said you shouldn't do it. Uh-oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. Uh-oh. We don't have much choice, do we? Go on. Uh, thank you, sir. Well, having Mr. Nanaki's approval certainly helps my conscience. Uh, let's see. He wakes up the, up the computer, and before long, I have no idea what he's doing to it. Wow, I wonder where he learned to do that. I swear to God, if, if Yuya says something like, I'm in, uh, or breaching firewall, I'm gonna flip. I imagine he spends his spare time stealing illegal X-rated videos off the intertubes. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. X-rated videos can teach someone how to do this sort of thing? Maybe I should watch more of them. No. Ryota, no. There we go. Now then. Oh. There. We're logged in as the administrator now. Dang it. Woohoo! Humph. This only has an open and close button. I guess that's pretty straightforward. Well, I'll leave the rest of this to you two. If we press this button, either the dome itself or the hatch will probably open. But with the headmaster dead, we have no way of knowing what's happening outside. If... If there really is some terrible disaster, then opening the dome could put every birdie in danger. I wonder if Mom's at home. I hope she's okay. There is a dangerous individual wandering the premises, and the bird in charge is dead. I think it would be wise to open the dome now. That's true. We did get Yuya to help and everything. Oh! <gasps> Oh man, oh wow, this is like the first choice in this epilogue. I need to save. I need to save. I need to save right now. Okay. Wait, is this the first choice? No, of course not. We, we were able to choose the order in which we went places. But I seriously got the sense that it didn't matter, which is why I didn't even think of it at first. But this, this is huge, right? So let's see what our choices are. Open it or leave it closed. Okay, here's my logic. I feel like opening it would like result in like a near immediate game over because maybe... Whatever threat outside could kill us all, or the situation could get resolved, the police would arrive and like shoot up the scarecrow, and everyone would go home, and business as usual would resume. But no mysteries would be solved. No matter what happens, if everyone left, I feel like no mysteries would be solved. It would just end. But leave it closed. Everything would continue. Like, think about what Shu said. Or, yeah, think about what Shu said. You have to keep going. Opening it ends it. 
Leave it closed is keep going. Yeah, so I think I want to see the open it thing. Let's do that. Um, let's open it. We need to get everyone out of here. Agreed. And we can confirm once and for all that the talk of disaster was nonsense. Escape hatch opened. I guess it's not for the whole dome. No matter. All we need to do is get a look outside. Just having the hatch open is better anyway, in case there really is a storm or something out there. The escape hatch will close automatically in 15 minutes. To reopen it, please reboot and try again. It closes on its own? That seems like a risky design. 15 minutes isn't enough to get everyone, but... Let's go out and take a look before it closes. We're going outside again, Mr. Nanaki. If it's safe, we'll organize an evacuation at the gym. Hmm, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll come too. Sakazaki, doctor, what will you two do? Yeah, well, I don't have any more business here. I shall return to the lab. Leaving Zephyr alone with another man would hardly be gentlemanly, so I'll go with the doctor. Uh-oh, these two alone, together. Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> you all know what happened last time that happened. It was very tasty. <laughs> well then, let's go, Kawara, Shirogane. Very well. Yep. Okay, I am very curious about this. Uh, where was that hatch? Have you eyes or pickled onions? Right there. Whoa. The hatch high above the ground is open. Okay, either that's like... <laughs> either that's a real good, nice, pleasant sky, or we're looking at like a Truman Show situation here. <laughs> Looks like the control panel worked. Huh, I think everybody should be able to fly up to that. It's a little narrow, so we'll have to go two or three at a time. But outside? Yeah, it's perfectly clear. We can only see the sky, but there is no storm or gale. Nothing but the same calm autumn sky from this morning. No earthquake and no typhoon, and the announcement video was a fake. I think it's safest to assume that the whole thing was a lie. I am curious about the state of things out there, but the door closes on its own, so we had best think carefully before going out. At least poke your head out there. We can't see the city at all. We don't really know what's going on out there, if anything. But if there really is no disaster and this is all some sort of plot surrounding Jester's death, then we need more clues. I'll go. Are you sure? We have no guarantee that it's safe out there. It isn't safe here, either. Good point. Student A. Uh-oh. Look, the hatch is open. It is. We can go home. Uh, no, you're supposed to be in the gym. You shouldn't go out yet. Like heck, we we're sticking around with nothing but the bogus exp explanation from earlier. I can't wait any longer. I'm going out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, come back. Come back at once. We don't know if it's safe out there yet. Oh. That's not good. A gunshot? We have to go help him. <laughs> oh no! Uh. Calm down, Koara. You'll only get yourself shot as well. But... Uh. 
As if to laugh at my shock, the hatch gives an unpleasant rumble and swings shut. He was shot. As soon as he went out, someone on the other side shot him. It's not a natural disaster. If we go out, we get killed. But why? Oh, it's ending there, huh? Well, I'm I'm glad my intuition was correct. Wait. Oh, don't. <laughs> that wasn't the like a bad ending. That was the third third term or not third term, the third class period ending. Um, huh. Well, um A part of me wants to go back and see what the other choice was and what that re would result in, but at the same time, I feel like it's nice to have all this knowledge. Like, the characters know about the threat outside through this route, and I feel like because Sukuya was all adamant about opening the hatch, I feel like trying to choose otherwise would just result in Sukuya throwing a fit, opening it anyway. I... I I don't know. Um, I think I just want to continue on this way. Maybe once I reach the very, very true end, I could go back and see maybe, but maybe not like on this video. I don't know. Uh, let's, so let's continue. <clears throat> Zephyr's corpse delivered without warning throughout the school. The students gathered without, without explanation in the gym. The headmaster appearing on screen to announce an emergency situation and then turning up dead. The gray dome enclosing the school. The scarecrow appearing for no apparent reason in the sealed off building. And now, the students shot dead if they try to escape. What is going on outside? How humiliating! It would seem that things are worse than we ever expected. If only I'd stopped him. There was nothing we could do that we didn't, Kawara. The last thing you need to do now is start mourning what we've lost. You don't intend to give up now, do you? No. I'm fine. We have to keep going. I... I think we should keep quiet about this to everyone in the gym. We can explain to them after we've figured out what to do. That's very smart. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. Our one chance at escape turns out to be a one-way ticket across the sticks. There's nothing we can do but search for clues inside the school. Where shall we go next? Uh, one second. Yep, there was that sneeze. Okay. Uh, where shall we go next? Let's go back to the maintenance office. Mr. One might have that file open. Very well. Yeah, maybe we'll learn about myself. We return to the maintenance office and explain what outs what we explain what outside to Mr. One. Okay. I see. It seems that our worst predictions have come to bear their evil fruit. Our worst predictions? Do you know something? We can predict things without knowing they, that they will happen. Confusing predictions with reality can be fatal, young one. I've been wondering for a while. Uh, Mr. One, are you really just a maintenance worker? <laughs> An innocent student was shot. I suppose it's time I introduced myself properly. Here we go. Leon JB. 
<laughs> Love it. I am Leon JB. Wow, you know someone's cool when they get to use a zombie's theme. <laughs> uh, one of the great soaring wings of the Dove Party. S-Class Agent. Pleased to meet you. The, the Dove Party? It looks like a cocktail to me. I have heard of this Dove Party, the secret organization that advocates living in harmony with humans, correct? You are well informed, young one. Huh. It is a noble's duty to be well, well informed. I feel like I must have missed something. There are two schools of thought driving the politics of today. The Dove Party, who believes we should live peacefully with humans, and the Hawk Party, who believe we should exterminate them. Exterminate? But I thought the wars with humans were over. Do you really believe that everyone just decided to live happily together? Sadly, that is not how the world works. There are still many disagreements between birds and humans, and so the Hawks and the Doves have come to the fore. We discovered hawk activity at the school, and so I was dispatched to investigate. And what we feared would happen has happened. Oh, oh wait a minute. Are you saying the hawk party has something to do with St. Pigeonations? It seems hard to believe. This school is known for its tolerant policies towards humans. It even welcomed Jester as a representative cannot confirm or deny it, but there are a growing number of Hawk operatives attached to the school. The Headmaster's secret file will probably answer some of your questions. Oh, you got it open! Thank you! And that should speed things up a little. Oh, let's look inside. Lord Dump? Aha! Uh -huh. Lord Dump, yes! Dump all over my face, Lord. Yes, I love it. The Human Representative To help humans and birds advance hand and feather towards a bright and happy future, we have decided to enroll one human in the school starting in the year 2187. Alright! They will be the Human Representative. The pandemic has long since ended, but we must nonetheless be cautious of the risk of infection with Sumaterra Influenza when making our selection. Oh right, that's bird flu. I was told that. I remember a bird flu scare when I was really young, but anyway. We will pick a strong, healthy 15-year-old human who displays hereditary resistance to Sumaterra influenza. Huh. The human representative. This is talking about Jester. Oh wait, that's Sukuya. Uh, the human representative. This is talking about Jester, no matter how we look at it. 2187, that's when we enrolled here. Come on, let's re read the rest. The chosen individual will be a symbol of human concession, to wit, a hostage for birds. If the representative is to die in the school, the entire campus will be sealed off and all the birds inside will be given to the humans as prisoners. What? Okay. Right, I understand that the Hawk Party organized all this and watched to see if I, Zephyr, could fall in love and if bridges could be built between man and bird. And so, it looks like if the representative, Zephyr, is to die in the school, then I guess all the birds inside, the students, will be given off to humans as prisoners. Now, normally that would be bad for bird-human relations, but that's exactly what the Hawk Party wants. The Hawk Party is willing to throw all the students under the bus 
and make all the birds political prisoners with the humans having advantage just to make the humans look bad. Oh my god, that's awful. Um, huh. But what puzzles me most is if Zephyr is to die. The stuff going on right now is a contingency plan. Zephyr dying here is not part of the plan. The Hawk Party did not kill me. So then who did? They were suspect number one, man. Whoa. The seal will be lifted 12 hours after the death is confirmed, and the birds will be delivered to the humans. And the principal knew all this, that scumbag. The school will be declared an extraterritorial zone, and avian protests of any human rep reprisal will not be tolerated. If Zephyr is to die, so her death was connected to the dome after all. And the important part is this final gruesome exchange. Basically, if anything happens to Zephyr, the representative of humanity, then the entire school takes the blame. And more than anything, there's not a single thing mentioning the Scarecrow. What is the Scarecrow? So it would seem. And they trap us in here to give the humans time to arm themselves. The dome will open in a few hours, but what awaits us outside is a horde of bloodthirsty monkeys. Wow. Really? You, you, you're just gonna drop the hard Y? Really? How humorous. It, it's not humorous at all. So, uh, this was the true face of their enrollment here. I rather think that this whole thing was arranged to widen the divide between humans and birds from the start. Indeed, things here go deeper than we ever realized. As you know, the school's public stance is very liberal on the human cohabitation issue. In fact, the school's principal financer, the Ichijo Group, uh, Group? The Ichijo Group has been heavily involved in human charities for the past 20 years. Itchy Joe. Has that name come up anywhere before? I have investigated the history of St. Pigeonations extensively, and I can confirm... And I can confirm... There's a lot of typos in this video. That it was founded with the ideal of coexistence with humans. Huh. But the Hawk Party has been sending agents here for a long time, eating away at the system. That must be the principle. Like a dreadful virus. We have had information about this document for some time. It is, it is real. It's kind of hard to take all this in at once. Just to make sure, for 12 hours the dome will remain closed. During that time, humans will gather to take revenge. And then... When the dome opens, they will kill every bird in sight. And with that, another era of war between birds and humans will begin. That student who got shot when he flew out the hatch. There are already humans waiting out there with guns. Oh, man, this is bad, man. She was discovered this morning, and the dome was raised soon after. So the time is not from when she died, but from when her death is confirmed. The evacuation was about two hours ago. Yeah, it was right at the start of second period. Around ten o'clock. So, at eight o'clock. Wait. No, no, that that's uh from two hours ago, so uh it would be uh midnight. It would be midnight then, I think. Wait, no, I was right. Ten. Oh, okay. I I ever thought it. <laughs> and so we have until ten PM before we're all killed. You seem awfully calm, Sukuya. 
even after watching somebody get shot. Remain calm, Kawara. Do nothing but worry about what's gone wrong, and you'll be next. I do not know who did this, but they will rue the day they decided to tangle with the LaBelle. What time is it, Mr. Leon? I'm so glad I don't have to call him One. Um, oh, maybe the Mr. One came from Leon. Huh. Just past two. We have only eight hours, then. Eight hours. We have to find an escape route in eight hours, or we'll be killed. But if we go outside, we'll be killed anyway. Just getting outside isn't enough. There has to be another way. My dictionary does not contain the word impossible. We shall continue the investigation. You're very decisive, Sukuya. I'm glad you're here. Humph, do not flatter, attempt to flatter me, Kawara. I'm not. I mean it. We found the connection between Zephyr's death and the dome. There's clearly some sort of intrigue behind it all. I don't want to die without knowing the truth. <laughs> me either. We'd better go now. We have to solve this before we run out of time. You are a promising lad. If I were to give you a piece of advice, well, don't miss the forest for the trees. Don't miss the forest for the trees. <gasps> Sakuya, there is one more file. Um, Operation Haddleful? They said the thing! What is that? I don't know, that's what it says on here. Uh, the bottom half is torn off. We can't read it at any rate. Damn it! I don't feel like it has anything hopeful anyway. It's an awfully friendly name for a confidential document, though. A stupid Japanese. Look, it's spelled hurtful. Well, it is. I just thought Hattiful meant heartful. Oh. This is some Undertale execution points level of violence bullshit. Oh, man. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Okay, uh, stupid theory. What if the hurtful boyfriend refers to the Scarecrow? <laughs> what if that's what the secret document is about? Well, um, actually, the initial document didn't say anything about the integration thing. Like, it had no details about monitor monitoring the human me, uh... Connecting with another bird and falling in love. Maybe that's what the the hurtful boyfriend thing is about. I suspect we will, that, we, that we will find many of the things to come quite hurtful. R right. It's probably something important, given that it was in the locked file. Indeed. I hadn't heard of this hurtful thing before, but... I want to look into the school's history. The school's history? At any rate, the headmaster must have known what would happen after Jester died. The escape hatch was no doubt put in place to allow him alone to escape. Which means that maybe he had a guarantee of safety for himself. I don't want to suspect an elder, but... 
does look that way. Everything going on here is connected. We may well find something of use in the records. Right, let's go look at the school documents then. I'm not the only Dove agent in this school. I'm sure the other will help you as well. Good luck, gentlemen. That's Yuya. Time to go look for more clues. Maybe we should write in the notes first. Can I see the notes? Hold on. No, don't think so. Uh, nah, let's skip button, don't press that. Um, right, okay. Mr. Leone said to investigate the school's li uh, school's history, but how? Where do we look? The headmaster's office, or the library, perhaps. Already looked at the headmaster's office pretty thoroughly, too. Did you see anything like school records or anything? I would have thought they would be there, but I don't recall seeing any. The library it is, then. Yes. And the mystery we have left to solve is... The bloodstained state... The bloodstained stranger Oko saw going to the infirmary yesterday. Yes. Exactly. What with the headmaster dying and an army of gun-toting bipeds showing up to turn, all, turn us all into jerk chicken, and it all... I, I almost forgot about it. I didn't. And the scarecrow. We still don't know where he came from. He appeared along with the dome, and no doubt is connected to it. If we continue to investigate it, I am sure his origins will become clear. And Jester's gruesome end is the best clue we have. For now, we should forget the puppet and chase after the blood-stained bird. Right. That's that decided, then. We'll go to the library to read up on the school's history, and... We'll look for that bird. Probably doesn't matter, but what should we do first? Yeah, it definitely doesn't matter. Okay, well... <laughs> as much as I love Nageki, Nageki isn't going anywhere. And, like I said, I'm sure it doesn't matter what we choose. It hasn't for the last few options. Uh, let's look for the bird, because I am really curious. The bloodstained bird. Huh. Do you have an idea? I I feel like I should. It's not something that I'd, I'd encounter normally, but for some reason... Don't I know somebody like that? Vague, as always. We do have a time limit here. We must not fall behind. I know, I know. If I remember what it is, I'll say right away. Maybe Yuya was still in there? Let's go ask him again. He did say he was there until he returned home. If anyone went in, he should have seen them. However, he said that he saw nothing out of the ordinary. If what he said is true, then he was lying. Or maybe... The bird being covered in blood was ordinary. Which would mean that the doctor was lying too. Huh. Very well. Hmm. Well... Alright, I think this might actually be a really good place to end things off. I know I'm a few minutes late before the one hour mark, but yeah, this feels like a good place to end things off. Um, well, that reveal about Hattiful hit me like a freight train. <laughs> uh, goodness, just when you think that this whole situation cannot get worse, it gets worse. A lot worse. Not only is there a human death squad waiting outside, but we're facing a countdown before every bird inside gets shot and killed. Oh boy, um... <laughs> hmm. 
Not good. Um. Uh, Leon JB. Enigmatic fellow. Um. Oh god, what if I was wrong about the pronunciation both ways? What if it's not one or one, but it's own? Like, Leon. Ugh. I don't even want to think about it, man. My head hurts. Um. Huh. As for any personal theories I might have, I really don't have any. I'm, I'm still pretty clueless as to what the truth of anything here could be. Um, no idea who killed Zephyr, no idea what the Scarecrow is, no idea about much of anything. Just... Just going by what I've been told expressly, I suppose, for now. Huh. Yeah, I would be very curious to see what Yuya has to say when pressed harder. Leon seemed to think that Yuya would help us, help Ryota and Sukuya, but not too sure. I guess we'll find out next time, so... For now, this has been Hurtful Boyfriend. I'm Zephyr the Jester, I thank you for watching, and hopefully I will catch you next time. So until then, please take care.